Hi friends. <laughs> it's been forever since I've been in front of the camera, so I figured that it's about time that I update you in my life. What I'm sharing with you guys today is my journey in the last six months since my last competition. For those that don't know me, my name is Gia and I just love to eat, laugh, and lift. <laughs> Welcome. So I had my last competition in bodybuilding November of 2018. It's now May 26, 2019. And my journey isn't quite what I expected. And so I wanted to share this with you guys because I think it's important for people that are exploring the world of bodybuilding to realize that what you look like in competition day or even near competition day may not be what you look like. Um, a year after six months after and you need to be okay with that or you need to have a plan For yourself to make sure that you feel good about where you are and you don't get too down on yourself Now there are some people out there that have the magical gene that always look like what they look like on competition day But that's a very small number. <laughs> so anyways, so again my last competition was November 2018 and my initial intent guys was to be you know, still pretty diligent about my workouts and my cardio and my food, um, but not be as strict where I was hitting everything every single day, that kind of thing. Because um, for the last two years, I prepped for a number of shows, and so I was pretty strict with everything. And I sort of kind of fell out of love with lifting, which for me is not a good idea because lifting is my zen zone. Being at the gym is my getaway and I wanted that feeling back. And so that's why I decided that I was trying, I was my intent was to just have fun with working out, have fun with eating, but still track, but not be too, too crazy diligent. Um, but as such, life happens, right? And so some things took on and I ended up being a lot less diligent than I intended to be. So I'll explain to you what that kind of looked like for me in the last six months or so. So I had a lot of unexpected travel, both domestically as well as internationally. And before I traveled internationally as well, but because I had a competition in front of me, I was still pretty diligent. I made, I traveled with a ton of like pre-baked protein cookies I would make or pre-baked protein bread and made sure I had enough protein for every day, made sure I had my scale with me everywhere it went. Um, but because I don't have a competition ahead of me, I didn't have that level of pressure. And so most of the days I would still bring my scale with me, but there would be some days where I'm just like, eh, I don't feel like pulling the scale up. That's fine, the food scale. And uh, I don't feel like working out today, or I just feel like doing whatever I want to in the gym. And that's great, That that's perfect. Um, I think I needed to go through that to kind of start liking eating and enjoying food again and enjoying working out again. But because of the unexpected things that happened in my life, I also got really stressed. And for me, there's, um, it's important to really um, be mindful of brain health, mind health, love your mind, um, love your soul. And so I decided that being even less diligent was going to be the right thing for me at that moment um, and for those months. So with the unexpected travel, I didn't have all my protein packed up. Uh, I did maybe some protein, but not all of my protein, and I would kind of just wing it, and I didn't bring my scale with me everywhere I went, but people still know Gia comes with a scale, so if I pop it out, it's not something that they're surprised with. Um, also, I was just doing what I wanted to do in terms of workup, um, and then also, on top of the unexpected traveling, I had um, some medical concerns that doctors told me that I shouldn't work out, and so I had to... I, I'm not a big fan of taking medicine unless I have to. I don't really go to the doctor very often unless I feel like I have to, but when in this case I did. I went to the doctor and they told me not to work out for a month and a half. And it wasn't because of an injury that I had during working out. And it wasn't some nutrition issue because I'm vegan. That's not what it is. I'm still not comfortable with talking about the details and maybe I'll share it with you um, later, on the, later on. But for now, guys, I appreciate the, the respect that you provide um, in just keeping that part of me a little bit more intimate for now. So anyways, stresses with that and I couldn't work out for a month and a half. And of course, when I can't work out, I'm like, ah, I miss working out, I might as well eat. So uh, what I'm doing now, guys, is, uh, well, what's happened, of course, is now uh, I've gained a little bit more fluff than I wanted to post my competition. And now I'm just going back into the game of like, hey, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go go mode and I'm gonna make this baby gorilla 
gets major lats and gets striations all over the place and everything. Okay, not that crazy, but getting back into my workout regimen and getting back into um, food. So before I tell you what my next steps and my plans are, let me show you guys some before and afters of what I look like around the competition time. And then a video I took of myself yesterday's physique. Um, and I'll share with you some measurements. So somewhere here, I'll inject my close to competition physique. If I remember correctly, I didn't weigh myself, but I'm guessing I was maybe about 125 pounds. Um, my waist was 25 inches. My biceps is always around 12 inches. My chest was 36 inches. My hip maybe got down to 34 inches. My buttocks maybe around 37 inches at the widest part. My thighs 21 inches. And this is the video now of the video that I took yesterday, May 25. So as you guys can see, um, I'm a lot fuller, <laughs> to say the least. And mind you, this video was taken in the middle of the day, and so I already was had uh, water and food in me, um, already puffed up a little bit, and I wasn't. I'm making sure not to kind of flex for you guys too much, just so you can see my natural physique. My measurements as of late was. Um, well, okay. First thing in the morning, my highest measurement weight was 139.6 pounds. My shoulders, uh, as of late, is 19 inches. My biceps, 12 inches. My abdomen, 30 inches. My buttocks, 39 inches. <laughs> my calves, 14 inches. My neck, always 13 inches. My chest, 36.5 inches, right here. My waist, 27.5 inches, so I gained two and a half inches. Um, my hips, 36.5 inches, so I think I gained uh, two and a half inches there as well. And my thighs are 22.5, which means I gained one and a half inches around one of my thighs. Um, so what am I going to do going forward? So I've created a plan for myself for a workout regimen. This is how I've broken it down. I'm going to have two rest days. And for now, they're roughly scheduled on Wednesday and Saturday because I do like to break them up. And then I have two leg days, which is going to be a Monday and a Friday. Delts and abs on Tuesday chest on Thursday, back and arms on Sunday. So that's just going to be what I'm going to do. And for now, because I am uh, I just feel like it, uh, I'm going to do a lower rep range, um, which is going to be around 10 to 12 reps for me. That's lower for me um, with trying to maximize my weight pushed and pulled for each of those sets. Um, as for cardio, I'm going to do cardio if I feel like it. Mm -hmm. But I am going to hit my 10,000 steps every day. I have my feet beat. <laughs> and so that'll keep me honest about my steps. And that's kind of just what I'm going to do. I'm going to see how my body responds for the next couple of weeks. And then I'll adjust it if I need to. The reason I'm taking this route, guys, and the reason I'm not going ham on cardio, like doing two hours a day, doing hits and all that stuff, and doing 1,300 uh, calories, uh, is because I want to do what makes me feel like I will love the process the most. Oh, the other thing that I'm going to do, guys, that I forgot to tell you is I am committing to myself that every week I'm going to check in with myself as though I'm my own coach, right? Well, I am. Um, and I'm using this app called Shapes. This is a check-in that I had from May 16. Um, and it allows me to kind of keep myself a little bit more accountable. I'm going to take photos of myself, weigh myself, and do measurements. That's just another tip that I have if you guys want to do that sort of thing. And by the way, for food, I'm probably going to hit around 2,200 calories or so. I don't really want to share my macros because that's very, it's created specifically for me. And if, if I were to share that with you guys, it just wouldn't be very responsible of me because I don't want somebody thinking that's the macronutrients for you. Um, if you guys do want guidance on macronutrients and working out all that stuff, um, hit me up. I do do coaching. The link is down below in the description box. Um, but that's my plan. Um, and so what I will commit to you guys is I will make another video in a month. And uh, just give you an update of how things are going every day, or I try to every day unless there's something crazy. I post on Instagram, so you guys can just follow my journey there. I also am being more active in Twitter. Um, and so follow me in social if you want to. You should. <laughs> but if you guys have any questions on you know, what I'm going to be doing, put your questions in the comment box. I'm always, always, always happy to share my um, real life experiences with you guys. Oh, and by the way, I just refilled stock. If you like to eat, laugh, and live, you should get a shirt. Yeah. 
link in the description box. Or if you're vegan and you are stronger as a vegan and you want to show that you're proud of it, you should get a shirt too. Anyways, guys, if you're not already following me, you should hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Ding, 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 every time this baby gorilla posts a video. Alright, guys, I hope that's helpful. See ya!